Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and we are going to do another reaction video today. I am Dr. Roberts here at Nashville Neck and Back and I am super excited to finally be able to do a reaction video for this channel. This has been one of the most requested channels in all of the comments on the previous reaction videos. So this is Dr. Brenda Moondragon, Mondragon, not sure how she pronounces her last name. It says here she's in Orlando, Florida and also practices in California. And just doing a quick overview of her channel, um, huge channel. So getting really close to 3 million subscribers, over a thousand uploads. Um, looks like a lot of her videos here, six figures, well up if we go to popular, millions of views. So anyway, a lot of you have left comments below uh, in previous videos, like I said, wanting me to take a look at this channel. So that's what we're going to do today. Let me get my official not fake, 100% real chiropractic sound here. So let's go. All right, so let's dive right in. We're gonna get the video started here. So again, this is Dr. Moondragon, Mondragon. She's got a little disclaimer here. Um, pretty cool art deco on the wall. Really digging the axes and the, the swords. Pretty awesome. So it does, it will compress these nerves here. Interesting attire. You know, I'm not here to say that one way is the right way or that my way is the right way. Um, chiropractors wear all different kinds of attire to the office. I wear scrubs and I get it. A lot of people think scrubs is kind of weird for a chiropractor. Even a lot of chiropractors don't like the when they see other chiropractors wearing scrubs. I get it. I didn't like scrubs either for the longest time. Um, it wasn't until I finally had staff convince me to give it a try and they're super comfortable. That's the only reason okay. I wear scrubs. And but it go into um, it go into any the spandex the type, <laughs> biker short type, <laughs> yoga pant type shorts. It's time to get an MRI, definitely. It is point. what it is. Okay. So like right here, it's really like painful. Painful? Mm-hmm. Just, this is, I'm digging into you a little bit here. Mm -hmm. So one thing that I did notice yeah. um, looking through mm -hmm. a few of her, and I just tried to breeze okay. through and see what type of thumbnails and types of clients that she records. She does have a good variety of male versus female patients. Um, not all of the female patients that you see in the video are like half naked or in their bra and panties. So already seems to be a little bit more leaning towards the legitimate side and less cringy, creepy side that we've seen in previous videos. Um, I'm sure she wears what she wears for the views, for the clicks. I get it. Okay. You do what you got to do, and <laughs> when something works, they're just going to keep, they're going to keep going back to the, the drawing board, or not back to the drawing board. You know what I mean? I'm tired. Yep, there's a big curve there. <laughs> you think? Oh. I guarantee you. They haven't shown it yet. I guarantee you, she practices barefoot though. She's going to be one of those chiropractors that don't wear shoes or anything, which is a little weird. Lateral lumbar, that's an x-ray. That's not an MRI view. She should know better than that. I see a drop on this side. Okay. You'd probably like to stand on that left side. Which side is more comfortable? This one. Yeah, so it's mostly from that. Okay. Like, oh my God, this is like just dropped. So it's it's from this. Okay. You, you <laughs> just don't, you just, yeah. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> On the good side first. Any anything in your hand when I do this? Mm -mm. It's just, it hurts locally. So here's another thing that I noticed, and I addressed it in the previous video: the big chiropractic secret 
that chiropractors don't want you to know. I address, I addressed part of this in that video. And what I've noticed in doing these reaction videos, after I do the reaction video, I like to go back and watch other videos just to make sure what I picked isn't an outlier and it's a good representation of the channel. But one of the common comments or what people were talking about chiropractors was that they do a lot, any, whether it's the chiropractor that they've seen in real life in person or just chiropractors that they see on YouTube is that they do a lot of the same thing and they do it in the same order. Um, and what you'll notice with these videos is you'll see the exact same treatment over and over and over in the exact same order. Um, and I know a lot of people think that that's a negative or they don't like that or it's kind of a complaint, but you know, there's no reason to try to reinvent the wheel. So if uh, this doctor, if this chiropractor continues, I don't know if you went back and watched her last five, 10 videos or if all of her videos are the exact same order, the exact same, there's a reason for that. You know, it's, it's, it's not lazy. It's not because of any other negative reasoning that some people were leaving in the comments. There's, there's a reason that chiropractic works and there's a reason that they do things in a certain order because that's how they're getting their results. This side's actually loosening up just fine. Yeah. I'm going to test it again though just to make sure. Any vertigo or dizziness like this, mm -mm. kind of just open up your eyes for me and let me see. Hey guys, if you didn't know already, we released our brand new roller. Yeah, I don't care about your brand new product. All right, how was that? Good. Okay. Yeah, now we got this one moving. So basically, she's just putting a lot of attention, uh, trying Upper to loosen up her okay. cervical spine. This patient may have a lot of tightness and soreness in her neck, possible headaches. It looked like she might have been doing a stroke pro protocol, making sure that everything was going to be safe. I don't know if she has a history of that. But I'm sure the cervical or neck Anything adjustment changes? is coming up pretty soon. Nothing. Okay, good. Good sign. See all this we got it. It's gonna take me a little bit, but that has to get cleaned out. Okay. I uh, see, yeah, I told you I knew she was gonna be barefoot. I just mm -hmm. <laughs> I just knew it. It doesn't happen in so one shot. I don't know. As you know, like muscles take a little it takes a little while for things to heat. But then time. again, these videos, the ASMR crowd, the um, pick my words carefully here. Uh, these videos attract a certain amount of attention for a very specific reason. So I'm sure <laughs> this clothing attire was chosen for a very specific reason. These camera angles are chosen for a very specific reason. I'm sure she goes barefoot for a very specific reason. I'm sure there is a certain percentage of the YouTube population out there that clicks on these videos primarily just to look at her feet. I don't know, it's weird. It is what it is though. I don't know, I shouldn't say it's weird. Everybody's different. Does the pain, what it begin, does it begin? It's pretty flexible right there. Right there. It's more towards my spine, where it's hurting. Into here? Yeah, right there. Okay. Are those Let me go further. <laughs> shoes, socks? What is she wearing? Okay. <laughs> those are the most interesting spine things. I don't know. Maybe I'm just sheltered. There. Never seen those before. Is that when it starts to hurt? It's almost like uh, <laughs> fingerless okay. gloves right. okay. <laughs> when you were a kid. How about this side? Uh, Same thing? Why? That's interesting. I don't know. Maybe she's going for the foot fetish crowd on the other side, in this video. Or is it in I don't know. Leave a comment below. Does she always... Uh, Adjust barefoot. Um, okay, so let's maybe that's just the thing. Out. If I lift this leg up, mm -hmm. it hurts on the right. No. When we straighten it. Oh, she's got a Zelda thing better. in the background there. All right, props. I'll give her her props here. An old Perfect. 80s and 90s video game nerd. You're going to slide. Perfect. Good. One more time. There it goes. Excellent. That's it. I didn't do anything. What's she doing? I know. I pulled you down quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Right and left for me. Anything still pain here? Okay, but not 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 nothing that way. That way. Mm -hmm. So just kind of when it goes that way. Right. Let me feel. It feels much better. Mm -hmm. You know everything's loose. 
How about when we go this way again? Mm -mm. And then, well, here's the So day. basically, just so checking for restrictions. Some range of motion, some muscle palpation, okay. checking any spasms, trigger points, restrictions in the neck. She okay. seems to be very thorough. So I don't know if all of you who left the comment for me to check out. <laughs> all right, let's get this. To check out this channel. Uh, again, I never know when I'm getting into these because I try not to. What I don't want to do is go through and actually watch. <laughs> Got to get the clothes off. I don't want to watch the videos ahead of time because I want to give an honest reaction. And if I've got to watch ahead of time, then it's, I don't want to fake the reaction. So I never know going into these, uh, is this going to be like a super cringy, creepy chiropractor like we saw a few videos ago? Or is it going to be, uh, I don't know, super, super handsy? Or is it just going to be funny like some of the other videos uh, that were just hilarious? Uh, so I never know, or is it just going to be like, she's an awesome chiropractor. It could be that, uh, uh, I don't recall any specific reasons why people wanted me to react to this video or not this video, this channel. Uh, but again, she just kept coming up over and over and over and over again. So I, like, it's like, I got to do it. I got to check it out. So, um, so far, no, no cringe, creepy factor. Um, and I did notice, like I said earlier, I think I said earlier, um, Good variety of male versus female patients on her channel. So it's not like she's over sexualizing like some of the here. Yeah. cringy mm -hmm. videos here on this we saw side. before. It's right there. Anything here? No. Sacrum is definitely. All right. So right now range. she is checking the SI joints, the sacrum, or the tailbone. Um, but again, if, I don't, if you've seen my previous videos, did you notice the way that she did that? Good. Her hand placement, her palpation skill. Palpation just means feeling and touching around with the skin, checking for different things. But how she was there, found what she needed to find, and then moved on. She wasn't like being super handsy. And again, this is you know a female doc and a female patient. Maybe that's not what we're targeting but you get what i'm saying like in the previous videos that were a little creepy cringy man the hands just lingered and stayed in areas that were not necessary to be in for long periods of time uh, she seems to be even though she's going into those areas which chiropractors need to do uh she's doing it in a much more professional manner you know, you got a oh, I did see a couple of thumbnails. I guess she does this Bye. scraping technique. Um, I'm not going to comment too much on that because I don't want to be ignorant to what that therapy is. I don't do it in my office. Um, I don't know much about it. So I don't know if it's just a popular YouTube trend or if there's some legitimate uh, therapeutic purpose behind it. Uh, but I am interested in learning a little bit more about it. Um, I don't know if it's something that I would ever incorporate into my office. Um, but no, I don't want to view your products. Click off. Um, but it is interesting. So like you feel that grit right there. So see how her that hand is staying scraping. up more so see, like on the back and not see how I can't, can't sliding down over to the side where it doesn't need to be. I guarantee you if we'd watched some of these other but when I do it, doctors, yeah. their hands would be creeping down there way far, farther than they need to go. Where are we at in this video? We're about halfway through. Do I feel right? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is intense. This isn't easy. Okay, here we go. This is for that hand. This one here this is always a big culprit. I know. Please, please tell me if it's too much. Okay. Because I'm just running through them. Oh, and touching on what we see in a lot of these YouTube videos where these docs do a lot of muscle work like this, 
Um, and a lot of you were commenting that your chiropractor doesn't do this or you've never been to a chiropractor. That does, there's there's a few reasons why. One, um, certain te techniques like Graston, and I would assume this scraping or all these other uh, certain forms of the muscle, uh, the muscle work. One, a lot of chiropractors don't do it because it takes time. And it's, yeah. you don't, if you're an insurance practice, you're not going to get reimbursed for this. Um, if you're a cash practice, it's probably a much more viable option for you, but you would have to charge patients for this because it does take time. You couldn't spend 30, 45 minutes on each patient. You would only see, you know, a handful of patients a day. There's no way you could do that. Um, so um, it would definitely be uh, a situation where the patient would have to pay extra for this type of treatment just because it is so time consuming. Um, and depending upon what technique you're using, there may be additional training that's involved. You may need a certain certification. Um, if it's not something that you were typically taught in chiropractic college, then it's definitely something that you need to know what you're doing. Um, if you don't know how to do it, it's a good idea not to do it. Okay. Okay. I mean, like, just the, let me know. I can't see your face, the booty so shorts just cracked me up. I don't know. Maybe that's what I should start like wearing <laughs> the office. Start way, wearing my old uh, spandex <laughs> biker shorts from the 80s. We do it. You guys remember those? It's not for relaxation. I used to wear those to school, like elementary school. Something what were you we thinking? Well, okay. The old biker okay. shorts and uh, the windbreaker <laughs> pants. <laughs> oh, man, I'm dating myself. That's okay. <laughs> Now here, here's a good example. Okay, it's on the side here. She's working in the lower lumbar, upper buttock Sorry, area, here, okay. uh, but she doesn't have the patient's pants off. If she does need to go below the waistline, she's pulling it back just far enough to get to where she needs to go. Perfect. There you go. Right. And then as soon as she's done, she's moving on and she's putting the patient's um, pants back where they were. You know, it's just, she doesn't have the patient's uh, Nothing numb, nothing butt numb. crack hanging out of her pants for all of YouTube to watch, which I know is probably why 90% of the people click on these videos. Well, maybe a little. Mostly it's loosening this up. What do they tell you all the time? To strengthen what? Your core. Your core, that's right. But you know enough about anatomy. Can the core <laughs> ever compete with the rib cage? Mm. Eh, no. <laughs> no matter how much you strengthen your core, no matter how many crunches, no back extensions, diaphragmatic breathing, all the things they tell you to do, it cannot ever be as stiff as the, the rib cage. All right, where are ever. we at here? You can try. Okay, you can try, and there's nothing wrong. Straighten the spine. That's straight. Perfect. Deep breath in. There it goes. Okay, hold on. All right, breathe. Take some breaths. And again. I'm gonna try to get the next set. Here we go. Push, 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 push. There we go. I just wanted to help her. It doesn't sound like she's piping in fake noise. So yep. if you're gonna be on YouTube, you gotta have the fake noise for the adjustment. We got this right here. Deep breath in. Actually, I'm gonna pull your head up a little bit and then down. Yeah, that kind of shortens it for me. Deep breath in again. There you go. That's a good adjustment. Good. That's a YouTube okay, adjustment. A little harder. as much as she does for now. Whew. All right. Yes, 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 yes. We're going to be very careful. I've got you. I'm going to actually tilt you back. Protect your neck. That's it. That's it. There's part of it. We'll go a little deeper. How was that? Yeah. I'm going to really take you there now, okay? <laughs> I'm going to take you there. Oh, she goes. Okay. That's a good one. You're not going to fall. i got your whole body. And there it is. Perfect. That's all I need on your back. That's all I need. Take a break. Take a break. Whenever I'll be the first on. one to admit, I'm going to pause this because yes. I don't know if the volume's off or not. Ever. No, I don't want to see your products. I get it. You're pushing it. We as chiropractors, and if you're a chiropractor watching this and you don't think you're doing this, you are. We say some of the stupidest things. I am so guilty of this before, or I am so guilty of this that I've seen uh, some videos that I did a long time ago uh, of me uh, adjusting some patients. And, man, we just say some stupid stuff. 
I don't think we mean to. We're not trying to be cheesy, but when you see a bunch of patients a day and you're doing a lot of adjustments over and over and over, uh, <laughs> we do say some stupid things. I'll apologize. I will apologize for our profession, uh, for all you chiropractic patients out there that roll your eyes at some of the stupid stuff we say. Because of this nerve here, that's why I'm asking. I'm not afraid to to make fun of ourselves. I'm still digging those shoe so shocks. Are they shocks instead of Crocs? We got we got shocks. Gotta get me some shocks. <laughs> Once we get the arm fixed, I would say, yeah, go ahead, go back. Okay. But if I'm pressing here, do you see how it planked mm -hmm. with just put pressure on the nerve? Mm -hmm. Kind of like, uh, can we not do All right, so what crazy thing do we have coming up next? It's not being so bad. Um, honestly. And that doesn't aggravate? Yada 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 yada. What we it's... got here? Oops. But yeah, this is causing me a problem here. No, I am curious if it's into the neck. Turn like if you turn to the right, it hurts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Now go straight again, like neutral. I'm gonna support this. Now turn to the right. No, it still it hurts. Up still. There. Oh, up at the base of the skull. Mm -hmm. Oh, that I have to come into here and do that. <laughs> so that was just. Touching your boob for no reason. It takes me a while to get it all to go away. Yeah. yeah, so what I'm doing, I know it's like hard to see. She has a knot at the base of her skull right here. Very common, causes headaches. All I'm doing, it likes to, when you look down, it pulls off of the skull and tears a little bit. Mm -hmm. Micro tears. And then your body kind of goes in and puts some glue in there. But then it pinches a nerve. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting way to describe it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're looking down and it's yanking. If you can kind of feel it, like feel it with your hand. You're kind of, you know enough about health. Like feel the, feel oh, it. Yeah. Okay, now look down and look back. Yes, look down and look back. See how it functions? See mm -hmm. the functionality of it. Pull when you go down. Kind of doesn't do much when you go back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry, girl. All right, where are we at here? <laughs> Such is life. But this isn't a big problem. Like you can, I can fix this. But this isn't like there's some things I can't fix. It's uh -huh. like a golf glove. Yeah. But yeah, this is gonna take me a little bit. So I'm gonna take it back, just kind of shorten it, and push up. Okay, I'm gonna get this lower piece. There's there's the other one. See how an adjustment can't push that piece in. All an adjustment can do is kind of take some of the pressure off of it. But I gotta manually come in here. Nothing's gonna fix that, but you not looking down, <laughs> okay? And me trying to flatten it back out. I don't know any other way. It usually does it. I see this in my chiropractors and mention this. If they don't have someone to teach them this, they are not going to figure this out themselves. Or maybe an old time chiro that's been practicing for 40 years. My dad gave me the cheat sheet. <laughs> okay, my okay so your dad might have been a chiropractor, sounds okay. like. Okay, he's learned this over the many, many years. Yeah. And has taught me these things, and then I build on top of that. I just build on top of his. She got a head start. That's awesome. It's not gonna. It's not that common because you got to find somebody that's been doing this for a long time. That's taught somebody else, and so on. Chiropractors only been around a hundred years. <laughs> All right. I don't expect the pain to be gone. It should just feel more fluid. All right. We're pretty much that. done here. Mm -hmm. well, we got some. Final pops and cracks here. Let's skip Google Fiber. We don't care about Google Fiber. How fast I can... All right. Yeah, it's gonna still kind of ache because that takes time to go away. But it so I'm gonna just kind of talk here a little bit as we're closing up. Overall, pretty good. I can see why she has a lot of views. You know, not all of the videos had you know a patient that looked like this. Uh, but. Um, she has a good channel. She's got a very good, uh, very good video and audio quality. Um, I don't know if she wears booty shorts in all of her videos uh, or 
their cleavage shirt, but whatever. I get it. You got to do what you got to do to get the views. But uh, she definitely seems to know what she's doing as far as chiropractic and all the other treatment that she's done in this video. Nothing seemed to be super unnecessary. I did see a few thumbnails. She kind of sort of did it in this video, a little bit of that scraping that we talked about earlier. I did see a couple other thumbnails. Maybe I need to go back and look at those. Or man, it looked like the patient had been through a meat grinder. Their back was just, I don't know, like ripped to shreds. So uh, I don't know if you've had that type of treatment, uh, leave a comment below. Definitely. There is some stiffness. Why you went in for care, what, what your symptoms or complaints were, why the doc did that treatment, what it felt like while you, while you were getting the treatment uh, and any results, uh, if you felt better, worse, or the same after the treatment, I would be highly interested in hearing from patients that did receive that scraping. And if I'm saying the wrong word, I apologize. I, like I said, I'm ignorant to it. I need to look into it and learn a little bit more about it because I am interested. Uh, but like I said, if you've had that treatment and you have some kind of experience with that, leave a comment below. I definitely would like to hear your input on that. And I'll probably go back and watch a few of those videos um, on her channel uh, <laughs> where the patients just look like they'd been... Uh, had the crap beat out of them. Um, here we go. What's she doing here? Well known pit adjustment. The arm, anything. This is like a. Sometimes if I just pull it, it feels good. Sometimes if I just pull it, it feels good. Gotta fix it. Well, her body's gonna fix it. <laughs> Do you kind of get the idea? All I'm capable of doing as a physician is taking the pressure off of these nerves. Your body has to heal it. Okay. Yeah, I can definitely feel the ache. And when I stop, does it kind of go mm -hmm. away? Yeah. Yeah. I think we're pretty we much done. We just got some crushes. 28, 19 seconds. We have a little bit of a sway down there. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it for Dr. And I apologize. Moon Dragon, Mon Dragon, however she says her name. She's got a pretty good channel. Uh, this video seemed fairly reasonable nothing too crazy nothing cringy or creepy at all uh definitely has good looking patients whether they're hired or they're actual patients i don't know uh it's not as obvious as some of the other channels uh but yeah thank you guys for leaving uh all of the comments there were so many comments uh recommending this channel um if you have any others i know i've got several uh in the list here oh shoot where is my list i had it right here uh, Slava, a guy from Russia. He's definitely on the list. A lot of people have mentioned that guy. Um, uh, the Y strap doc, uh, we got some interesting Y strap stuff coming up in the mix. Um, I might have been converted, uh, as a believer. So, uh, stay tuned for the Y strap stuff. Uh, guys, thanks again for watching. I appreciate all the support. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this reaction video for this channel. Uh, if you have any other recommendations, please leave those in the comments below. Again, if you have just a general recommendation, leave that. If you have a specific video of a channel that you would like for me to watch, uh, don't forget to leave the name of the channel and the title of the video. It just helps me find that a whole lot easier. But yeah, again, thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next video, and let's get the final adjustment of the day.